Oh my god. The most asked question I get is, how are you so beautiful? Don't you guys ever just get the random urge to fake your death online to millions of people? No? Cringe. Bruh. Hello guys, welcome back to the Balaki channel. My name's Balaki. If you're new over here, welcome. Uh, I'm gonna be eating muffins this entire video because it's tea. Tea. Nine T sis. So recently we got some crazy news that was going on on Twitter the other day. Was it yesterday? I don't fucking know. Rapper and uh, online youngest flexer Lil Tay apparently opposedly died. I saw this on Twitter and the first thing I thought was she's not fucking dead. Which turns out I was actually right. And uh, you know it shook the internet. Everyone actually thought she died. And then the, the whoever was running the account deleted the post. And uh, that's when the conspiracy started. So when I saw that post, I was suspecting something was going on behind the scenes anyway. Oh fuck, I forgot to mention who Lil Tay is. Here's this video. You already know what it is. Lil Tay the youngest flex of the century. I'm only nine years old. And I'm richer than all y'all broke ass. It's bigger than your whole entire living room. Uh, basically, it was like back in the day, uh, if you don't know who she is, then you're probably too young. And that person that like, everyone basically hated because she was flexing. A long story short, turns out it wasn't her money that she was flexing with, it was her mum's real estate properties. Uh, her brother was forcing her to make these videos because he thought, hey, it's funny, it's gonna get attention, and it it's gonna get views. But yeah, after that, she just kind of went ghost for a solid few years, and then, supposedly, she died. <laughs> And uh, that's where we are at today. I've done some research and I found some stuff that supports my my uh, opinions and you know speculations on how basically Lil Tay is uh, probably being abused. That's a crazy intro. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna get into it. Roll the freaking intro. <laughs> Alright oh, right, guys, the death was faking, but she said that it was fake, and then uh, she said a few things in there, but we're gonna start from the beginning where the death was actually fake, so you guys can see the full storyline up to what we have now. So we're on TikTok here, because uh, this is the it's short form of content, man, I'm not trying to say I'm watching a whole fucking 30 minute video. In memory of Lil Tay, this is when they thought that she was dead. In memory of Lil Tay, let's bring back this iconic video. Let's see what she was famous for, guys, because I already know. No, no, no. What's up? No, 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 don't touch on because I'm in the middle. Come on. What's What's up? Up? Stop. Oh my god, I forgot this. She had beef with um, Bad Baby. In this segment, I think Bad Baby's 17, and Lil Tay was like, no joke, like 12. Come on, bitch! You trying to fight? Come on, touch me, I want you to hit me. Hit me, hit me, hit me bitch. Hit me, if you hit me, what's up? Oh, oh, crazy beef. That was really cool. Loving memory. The sudden death of 14-year-old viral star Lil So Tay. she was 14. Okay, but in that video she was like 12. Left fans completely shocked. Taking to Instagram to announce the tragic news, the internet sensation's family confirmed the passing of Lil Tay, real name Claire Hope, age just 14. Oh yeah, this video, uh, this is when she was like, her brother was forcing her to be like, dude, you're not doing it enough. She's like, oh, you're not saying you're flexing enough. And he was like shouting and she started crying. I was like, how is this, how is the fucking, what's it, the CP9? That's from one piece. Instagram statement read, We have no words to express the unbearable loss and indescribable pain. This outcome the passing of her brother, Jason Tian, in the same statement. Yeah, so <laughs> apparently her and her brother died. And that's what gave it away to me, that it was her parents saying that, trying to cover something up. Here's a video from Daily Mail. Who the fuck watches Daily Mail? Lil Tay is reportedly alive. TMZ is reporting that Lil Tay and her brother are both alive and that her Instagram was hacked. She tells the outlet- See, that's what I'm saying is hacked, right? But who would do that? You, you gotta put it together. No one cares enough to hack you and fake your own death. The most that's gonna happen when you get hacked is you're gonna get a crypto scam. Broken and struggling to even find the right words to say. It's been a very traumatizing 24 hours. All day yesterday, I was bombarded with endless heartbreaking and tearful phone calls from loved ones, all while trying to sort out this mess. She also says her legal name is not Claire Hope, but- See, that's another red flag. I'm telling you all the red flags involved in their parents. So, her parents actually came out and said her name was Claire Hope. So, why did they lie? ATN, and that now she has her Instagram back after a third party hacked her and spread jarring misinformation. No. Apparently, her dad, if you don't know her dad, her dad's Johnny Dang. Oh, hey. man. Brand new Air Force, huh? My Air Force, my Air Force one. I lied. This is her dad. And uh, her mom's uh, this real estate agent. They really just, it seems to me like they just hate their fucking daughter. I don't want to claim abuse here, but I think, I personally think it's abuse. And I personally think someone needs to go and check. You know, the whole child abuse shit is the, the they don't really fucking check. Especially in America, they don't give a fuck. 24 hours to announce that she is still alive. Stay with Daily Mail for more updates. 
So, yeah, um, there was another video saying that her, apparently her father was taking all of her money. So in what's probably the biggest plot twist of 2023, it turns out that nothing ever happened to Lil Tay other than her IG being hacked. Lil Tay reached out to TMZ to make a statement saying that both her 24 and which up to hear about her that's me when I see something that's not misinformation. So now we're gonna get into the dark part, all right? So apparently, guys, so apparently Lil Tay has been uh, getting abused, like emotionally, physically, we don't know that yet. Probably more emotionally, and uh, you know, more of a, like, they're just exploiting her for money and abuse. On her Instagram and YouTube, she had a thing, she posted a thing called Help Me. Here's a little screenshot. It, she deleted it instantly after Instagram. And also on her YouTube channel, it said Help Me Here. Um, but this was all real. It's been on TikTok. It's been out everywhere. So if she, put, let's put this piece it together She's saying help me her father and mother go on her Instagram account I don't think she was hacked. I don't believe that and they they faked her death, right? I'm not saying they killed her. I think Lil Tay is alive. There's photo or evidence or video evidence that she's actually alive um, I think so but she is definitely being abused. I, I, she's, there's definitely some abuse going on behind the scenes because there's no reason why she would say help me. So this was before she was actually famous. As you can tell, she looks very young here. But there's a GoFundMe called Save Tay from the Life of Abuse. Uh, it has, it already has 17,000 out of 19,000. But this was made quite a, a while ago, and it's literally just an entire story of how she's been abused. So it turns out my my speculation was completely right. It's not her, necessarily her mom; it's her dad, because her dad has legal custody of her. As soon as she got famous in May, he came back and stole her money or some shit, like millions of dollars of her. Uh, he owes 400k in child support. Uh, this, uh, however, this was made by her brother Jason Tian, which I. I have mixed opinions on because there is that video of him forcing her to make the flex videos. So take this with a grain of salt, I guess. But there is a lot of proof that she's been abused, whether it's the brother or the the, the mum or the dad. Her brother was straight up exploiting her, but God knows what the actual parents are doing. Lil Tay fake her death. A lot. I hate his accent, but just deal with it. Just bear with it for me because it supports my argument. People are saying this because firstly, in her YouTube bio, it says help me. And her last post on Instagram was a remembrance post for X. People think this because it's so random and out of nowhere. And they think it's a marketing stunt for her comeback. But honestly, guys, I think it's way too early to say anything. We need to respect the family and wait for official report. Why is he shouting at me? He added nothing. Nah, bruh, her family did something to her and her brother. Either her family killed her or it's some type of mission. Uh, I don't know about that because the police would be involved and apparently there's there's no police report of Lil Tay missing But I still think they need to investigate what's going on behind the scenes I don't know if she didn't get the new Air Force Ones or something. I'm sorry. Honestly, let's let's come up with a conclusion here I think it's ever it's ever one of these two situations her and her brother came together and decided you know what Well mostly her brother because her brother we all know her brother like just tells her what to do and she just listened So it's either they fake the death of Cloud or two the parents are up to something. Uh, I don't think they killed her, but I think they're abusing her and they tried to fake their death to cover up the abuse, which is retarded. It is a Reddit post. I love fucking Reddit. Also, so at the moment it's odd, like potentially really odd. What we know so far is that someone posted a message on the Lil Tay Instagram page announcing that Claire Hope, the real name of Lil Tay, well, it's not anymore, had died at the age of 14 or 15. This got picked up by the media who reported it as a fact. I love how the media just reports as fact without even doing it. Similarly, both Hope's father and her former manager couldn't confirm whether the story is true. This isn't the first time that there's been an internet fuckery on her account. In 2021, after three years of silence, the Lil Tay Instagram posted accusations of physical- I did not know this! The Lil Tay Instagram account posted accusations of physical, mental, and financial abuse against Hope's father. So, she went on Instagram and said that her father is abusing her. However, these were apparently posted by her brother, Jason, who is now allegedly dead and resulted in Hope's getting a case and deceased order. Other new Instagram and TikTok accounts are now claiming to be Hope. She does have access with the Lil Tay account. But as far as I can tell, none of them have provided any compelling evidence as yet. I, listen, I'm not the one to, do, to fully uncover this. It has to take time. But if you guys want an update on this, let me know. Like, let's, we can reach a like of like, I, I don't fucking know. I'm going to put it high because I don't want to make a video on this. 20k. If you have just 20k, then I'll actually keep updates this when new news comes out. And you guys just keep me updated on Instagram. I really want to get to like, this is one of the first YouTube videos I've made. Where I want to get behind it, you know. I remember Lil Tay. I remember seeing the little funny, yeah, flicks on him. So I want to get behind this and actually see what's going on behind this. And hopefully get her some help and spread a little bit of misinformation. It's not the Balaki channel if we didn't spread it. It's all a matter of time now. If if she is being abused, it will come out. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, pretty short video. I'm sorry for that, but I just wanted to make this video because 
I really, I don't really see a lot of, I see a lot of YouTubers making videos on their death, but I haven't really, and the ones I've seen, unless Charlie's fucking uploaded a video, you probably guys in it. So yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go play League of Legends, but not Warwick, because I saw this in my game. I was like, what the actual fuck is going on? But yeah, all jokes aside, if you guys enjoyed this, smash like, uh, and, uh, yeah, 20k likes, and I'll continue the investigation. And uh, you guys can help me, too, by sending me some stuff on Instagram. Love you all, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video. The mystery continues. Bye-bye!